Before anything else, preparation is the key to success. Alexander Graham Bell was born on 3 March 1847 in Edinburgh and educated there and in London. His father and grandfather were both authorities and allotion at the age of 16, Bell himself began researching the mechanics of speech. In 1870, Bell emigrated with, the, with his family to Canada, and the following year he moved to the United States to teach. There he pioneered a system called visible speech developed by his father to teach deaf children. In 1872, Bell found a school in Boston to train teachers of the deaf. The year is 1876 and Alexander Graham Bell is putting the finishing touch is on his brand new invention. God, Mr. Watson, if my adjustments are correct, this thing should work. This is going to transmit sound, but I don't understand how. Trust the science, Mr. Watson. Now go to the other room and let's give it a go. Okay. <sighs> Mr. Watson, come here. I need you. I can hear you. By God, it works! Come back to the other room and let's celebrate. All right, I'll be right there. In 1888, Bell was one of the founding members of the National Geographic Society. Bell had long been fascinated by the idea of transmitting speech, and by 1875 had come up with a simple receiver that could turn electricity into sound. Others were working along the same lines, including an Italian, American Antonio Meucci, and debate continues as to who should be credited with inventing the telephone. However, Bell was granted a tele patent for the telephone on 7 March 1876 and it developed quickly. Within a year, the first telephone exchange was built in Connecticut and the Bell Telephone Company was created in 1877, with Bell the owner of a third of the shares, quickly making him a wealthy man. Bell died cause of diabetes on 2 August 1922 at his home in Nova Scotia.